First at 11, brand new views of the chaos in Parkland in the minutes after February shooting at Stoneman Douglas High School. For six months now, we've been trying to learn what went right and wrong during the response to the Parkland massacre. Tonight, we have about 90 minutes of video that only people close to the investigation have seen until now. So, what does it reveal, if anything? CBS 4's Kerry Cott has gone through it all. He's live at Broward Sheriff's Office headquarters with a look. Kerry. Well, on the video released by BSO today, there's what you see and what you don't see. What you do see is chaos and a large police response to this tragedy. What you don't see are cameras on the 1200 building, the freshman building where this violence unfolded. You also don't see direct video evidence confirming some of the allegations leveled against the Broward Sheriff's deputies for their response. Security video from exterior cameras at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School that was released Wednesday captured the final moments of peace on the campus on February 14th. Then at 2.21 p.m., shots rang out inside the freshman building. Security video shows students running for their lives. They also show school resource officer Scott Peterson hightailing it towards the freshman building as he reported hearing possible shots fired. He found a safe place, did not go into the building, and ordered the campus locked down. At one point, he issued a critical order for officers to stay away from the area. Well, do not approach the 12 or 1300 building. Stay at least 500 feet away at this point. A flood of officers then arrived at the school. At 2.29 p.m. after the shooting was over, the video shows a law enforcement vehicle with lights on arriving and officers running into the campus. At 2.31 p.m., we see a number of people running from the parking lot towards the school. From this vantage point, it's impossible to say who they are. Also at 2.32 p.m., three officers sprint towards the building with guns drawn. In BSO's timeline, those appear to be Coral Springs officers. Three minutes later at 2.35 p.m., a golf cart carrying a victim is seen on surveillance cameras. BSO says a Coral Springs officer and one of their deputies are transporting a victim. At about the same time, a campus camera shows BSO deputies opening the gates for a group of Coral Springs police. At 2.41 p.m., four officers, at least one of which is BSO, are seen with guns drawn walking up a hallway and remaining there for a time. It's not clear why they stayed at this location and for how long. Finally, 10 minutes later, around 2.51, a group of BSO officers in tactical gear, possibly the BSO SWAT team, approaches the freshman building. We showed the video to security expert Wayne Black, who is not connected to the investigation. He said Scott Peterson definitely should have gone into the freshman building. Kids are in there bleeding to death while he's standing outside deciding what he should do. He also believes other officers should have gone in, even if the shooting was over. Well, who's injured? How many people are shot inside? Go in and give them first aid. Put a tourniquet on them. Take your belt off. Bring the EMTs in. Protect them. It would be 11 minutes after the shooting began that BSO says a group of deputies and Coral Springs officers entered the freshman building. BSO's policy is to engage an active shooter. It's unclear what impact Peterson's commands to stay away from the building had on arriving officers. Ultimately, 17 students, teachers, and staff lost their lives. I reached out to several of the victims' parents tonight. A couple of them told me they had not watched the video. It's very difficult for them to do so. Andrew Pollack did watch it. He said he believes poor leadership at BSO affected the deputy's response that day. I also spoke with Broward County Commissioner Michael Udine, who represents the Parkland area. He believes that this video does not clear up many of the questions about the police and deputy response that day. He feels the Marjorie Stoneman Douglas Commission and the FDLE investigation into the shooting will clear up many of those questions. Live at BSO, Kerry Codd, CBS 4 News Tonight.